Okay, some of you may recall, uh, probably approximately about a couple of weeks ago, I installed this, the Honeywell Deadbolt with keypad lock on my uh, front entry door. And it's working well. And if you have not seen the video, I will leave a link in the description for you to go back and watch it, to go over and watch it. This is what we will be doing today. I will be removing this because I no longer need that lock right there. And I'll be replacing it with this. And this is called a Camelot front entry handle set with left hand left-handed flare lever, lower half grip, satin nickel. excited about this install. This will be the outside handle and this will be the uh, the handle for the inside and I'm so excited because I think it's going to turn out nicely. I can't wait for you to see it and I can't wait for you to try it and install yours. So if you're ready, I am so ready. Let's go. Let's get this done. First thing I'll do is I'll remove this um, doorknob and then I'll get started on installing the Camelot handle set. All right, so quickly before getting started, what I have in this box that I received from Amazon that I ordered, um, I have the Camelot handle set. So I have the handle and I have a box. I have the, of course, instructions and have a lever and I have the latch and just some screws for the strike plate, all of that. So that's what's in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll start with this because this part I don't have prepared on my door yet. So don't let that frighten you. This, this is simple to do. So that's what we'll start with. You want to make sure that it's straight. And I don't know how others do it, but this is the way I, I did it. I pushed it into the hole that was already there, as far as it'll go. And then I used my leveler, and that's leveled right there. The bubble is in the center. So I will mark the hole down here that I have to make. you have a bit that goes that's long enough to go through to the other side because this hole has to go through the front and out the back and instead of starting with the larger one I'm gonna start with the smaller one and then I'll make a, a larger hole once this is once the pilot hole is made you want to make sure that you hold your your drill as straight as possible because you want that that hole on the other side to be exactly the same as this one and just take your time and make the hole okay the bit that I will be using is a 5 16 drill that hole Before moving on to the next step, you probably want to at least try it to make sure that the hole is drilled large enough. And what you'll notice is that this is adjustable. Um, so that's what I'll do right now. I'll test it to see, just to make sure that it fits. Yes. How it'll be so I'll take it out and next I will I'll enter the I'm mean, gonna I'll, I'll, I'll insert the latch such as doors will require this this is the latch and it comes with a face plate 
and some doors require a drive-in instead of the faceplate. So if your door is made that way, you just want to get a screwdriver and pop this loose, take away the support piece and set the faceplate aside and then you'll put the drive-in piece on here, align it, pop it on there like that and then you'll you'll insert it into okay. your door. So I'll use just the regular face plate on mine and you want it to go this direction because you'll be closing the door this way and then just secure it in place and take the smaller of the few screws that are in there have two, two large ones, well, two large ones and four smaller ones, and you just screw it in with a screwdriver. Secure it in with a screwdriver. And now, I'll attach the handle here, the outside handle, by aligning the holes that are inside, pressing it, pushing it through, and pushing the bottom through, like that. Okay, once you get that in, hold it in, hold it in place, make sure it's snug against your door, at least at the top, and you wanna put your doorknob level, level lever on and we'll do that by aligning it with this one to use the two larger of the other screws that are flat on top if that helps so they're larger than the other screws so we want to use those to put at the top and the bottom everyone so I'm so excited about this install this is the outside handle and this is the inside not not knob handle 